Rest in peace to my motherfucker. I reminisce on dangerous summers Was just a thug nigga working for drug dealers His neighborhood run about the age of 13 We was gunning and it was fun to see the police running Niggas disappear when we come and live Nappy head shorty addicted to drinking 40 My niggas is naughty and y'all niggas is fucking corny But you left me in the summer of 89 A very good year Crack cocaine sales rose in every hood What's up guys, Keenan from Keenan K TV here and in this video I want to talk about why Jeremy Stevens will knock out and possibly retire Jose Aldo. Now this is not a prediction video, this is just merely breaking down the keys to victory and the strong points that Jeremy Stevens has in this fight. I will probably wait for the day of the fight where I do my live stream to do my final predictions where everything will happen and that's about it. In this video, I'm just going to talk about his keys to victory and why or how he can win this fight. You know, what are his strong points? Just Let's just get right into it. As we all know, Jose Aldo coming off of three devastating finishes, right? He came off of losses against Connor and then twice against Max Holloway. Now, in between, he defeated Frankie Edgar in a fight where he looked very, very, very good. But, you know, when he beat Frankie Edgar the first time around, why wouldn't you assume that he would beat him again? So, it was really a very, I don't want to say an, an easy fight, but a more uh, favorable fight in his favor to win the fight. Now, against Jeremy Stevens, this fight is very, very even. I don't think Jose has fought anybody similar size to him after Frankie Edgar. And we saw how great he looked against Frankie Edgar. So we would have to assume against a fighter that is not taller than him. Well, you know, Stevens is only an inch tall and has an inch advantage in reach. But they're virtually identical. So going off of that, I would have to assume that Jose Aldo is not going to have to really deal with a lot of range, right? Conor McGregor was a very rangy fighter. You know, he's probably the best fighter at understanding range and just timing very 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 excellent athlete then we have jose uh, max holloway very tall fighter uh, he didn't have long reach but he knew how to use his height as an advantage and jose aldo just really couldn't find a way around it and just ended up gassing got finished now against jeremy stevens like i said they're both very even in height and reach so in this fight, will we actually see Jose Aldo get the chance to perform at his best? Really, if you think about it, this is a fight since Frankie Edgar that is really um, a breath of relief, right? Because he don't he doesn't have to fight somebody who's taller than him, a ranger. But Jeremy Stevens poses a lot of threats. He is very, I don't want to say rangy, but he can explode in and explode out. He is very quick with his reactions, similarly to Jose Aldo himself. Now, the only difference that both fighters have is Jose Aldo is a bit more versatile and has speed, whereas Jeremy Stevens is very explosive also, very similar, but he isn't as fast as him. And he has a lot of power. Now, like I said in the beginning, Jose Aldo came off of three stoppages in his last four fights, which he lost, by the way. Right? Uh, just to you know, die. I don't want to have, I don't want to have anybody correcting me in the comment section. Um, actually, he didn't. Um, he actually, uh, no, shut up. You know, you get what I mean, right? <laughs> you get what I mean. So, that being said, right, him being 31, him coming off of three stoppages. Is he really come to a point where he's deteriorated and really will he be put away with a big shot that lands by Jeremy Stevens? Because a prime Jose Aldo against a prime Jeremy Stevens, you know, whatever Jeremy Stevens that may be, because he's he's always been a very consistent contender. He was never really 
he never really got to the point where he is today but is he really in his prime right because if you think about it the the competition is slowly decreasing and you know there are a couple of young fighters that are coming up so Jamie Stevens being very consistent helped um, you know with that uh, with his spot that he has right now but we really have to think about it is Jose Aldo chinny now did his chin get cracked because if you think about it and if you look into it Jose Aldo fights very up close right the Jose Aldo that we saw in the WEC days not even really in the UFC but he really was great with leg kicks and I don't know why but I believe ever since the Chan Song Jung fight he was never really the same with his leg kicks I think he prioritized hand speed over his leg kicks now which is not a bad you know takeaway right um, his leg kicks were really devastating but if you have a fighter that can time it right he can you know he, that's a lot of trouble now him going with hand speed over leg kicks is probably gonna work in his favor against Jeremy Stevens now up close he can use his speed you know he can get in and out he can do that but Jeremy Stevens also likes to fight in close right and he's very powerful so he might just you know flurry throw a lot of combinations as he does and Jeremy Stevens might throw a punch with him and he can crack him on the chin and it will be all she wrote that is a high high possibility and I believe Jose Aldo I think he does realize this he does realize this and will this have an, an impact on him mentally that is what we will have to wait and see right because when Jose lost to Connor and he fought Frankie Edgar I think he was able to take a lot of risks because he knew he when he fought Max Holloway it was kind of similarly to you know to the way he fought against um, Edgar but as soon as he started to fade I think the the Conor McGregor flashback set in and he just you know stopped being aggressive or you know his will to win was fading by the minute so will that be a problem for him we will just wait we will just have to wait and see because you know like Mike Tyson said everybody has a game plan until they get hit and for Jose Aldo at, at this moment right now that holds a lot of truth will he be really getting flashbacks of the way he lost to um, Holloway will he be getting flashbacks of how he lost to Connor will that play an impact on him because Jeremy Stevens for a fact hits hard right but at the same time Jose Aldo is good enough to work around it but at the same time has Jose Aldo aged right has he become old in the sport it is a very 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 interesting fight which I'm very interested in watching I think this is the actual main event of fight night whatever it's called UFC on Fox or whatever I don't know what it is I think it's you know fight night ESPN I truly don't know what it is but that being said right it is a fight that will make or break Jose Aldo and the way he is going right now and the way you know he's declining you would have to assume that it is time for the new guy right to come up and you know have a shine but at the same time Jamie Stevens is not young so it is a very odd situation it is a perfect fight for both fighters you know it is a do or die make or break fight for both if Jose Aldo wins then he can get a crack at um, Ortega or you know whoever is holding the belt because in my opinion I don't think you will see Max Holloway back in the octagon um, but let's just assume that he wins Jose Aldo wins and he gets to fight Ortega now isn't that a fight that we would all like to see right it's an amazing fight but so was Jeremy Stevens versus Ortega so is Jeremy Stevens versus Max Holloway 
So, very different fight, but how Jeremy Stevens can win this fight is to rely on his power, fight up close, make him feel like he is in control of the octagon, right? Time whenever Aldo is coming in, throw when he throws, hit him on the chin, see what happens. Because most likely, Aldo will crumble. But at the same time, we do not know. <laughs> it is a fight game after all. So, what do you guys think? Leave it all in the comment section down below. As always, I'm Keenan from Keenan KTV, signing off. Later. <laughs>